Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I've been holed up in my house with my boyfriend for like the past four days because that music festival I went to last weekend that I was supposed to vlog and I totally didn't. Good thing I didn't vlog because I like, I, I thought I got drugged. I'll stop harping on it. I've been yapping about this on TikTok for like the past week and I tend to like harp on things and like drag things out and I think it's because I'm an only child and I'm used to like, my parents have like made me believe that I'm the most important person ever and like they'll hang on every word of every story that I tell and they still do. So maybe that's why I do this. I won't harp on it much longer, but I, anyways, I thought I got drugged at the music festival. Turns out I think I had like a, like a viral illness and then I passed it to my boyfriend and he has been home from work all week. I started feeling better like four days ago. He finally went back to work today. This house is like disease ridden at this point. I have house cleaners coming today because some of Colin's friends are flying in today to stay here and I don't want them to like get sick. I don't think it works like that. I think the germs have already died on the surface of our things, but I have house cleaners come anyways. So, but good morning, happy Friday. I thought I would vlog today. I have to go feed the cats. They are screaming at me. It's breakfast time. I, oh my God. Come on, come on. Let's get out of the closet. Roger, you're so patient. You're the best boy. Fin. Fin. I'm kind of hungry too. I'm not usually hungry this early. I'm having three bites of cold mac and cheese to hold me over. Just three. Mm. Me with all my pills. <laughs> my boyfriend is gonna be sad that I did this without him. We have a new thing every night where we take our vitamins in bed together. This was all his idea. I've been taking a couple vitamins for like years now, but he wanted to go out and get like so many different types of vitamins, so now that's our thing at night now. But I wanted to show you guys what I take every day. I take Calcium, magnesium, three of those. I take iron. I take biotin for skin, hair, and nails. Vitamin D3. I take B12. This one's like yummy. This is like a chewable vitamin. And then these are my two favorites. These ones I've been using for like years now. The Ritual Symbiotic Plus. It's a prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic, all in one. And then I also take Ritual's Essential Multivitamin for women. This guy right here is my travel must have to keep me regular and to keep me regular in general, even when I'm not traveling. Like I said, this is a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic. This supports a balanced gut microbiome and digestive health. These are really good for like bloating and gas. And also I have had a lifelong struggle with staying regular in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just like randomly I'll be constipated for, for weeks and then I'll be fine. And then I'm constipated for days and then it's just, very off and on and like when I travel I get a little bit stressed out so then I'm constipated again but when I'm regularly taking these these help so much with that like it has been a life changer I've had that problem since I was like a young kid and when I'm regularly taking these it just goes away the prebiotics support the growth of beneficial bacteria and the postbiotics support our gut barrier function these are also delayed release capsules so it helps everything get to your colon versus your stomach the colon is just like the ideal place for probiotics to survive and grow but like i was saying like daily disturbances like travel can really like throw your gut off kilter so that's why it's so important to take a supplement like symbiotic plus every day you can take it with or without food it has like a minty flavor to it which is nice and i also love their multivitamin for women these are subscription based which is awesome so you'll never run out if you want to try a little subscription with ritual for these amazing vitamins you can click the link down in my description or you can scan this qr code and i actually have a code for you it's tara lynn for 25 percent off your first order and i just highly recommend these this is amazing i've been taking both of these since I lived at like my first or second apartment in LA. It's been years. I love them. So I recommend trying out Ritual and thank you for sponsoring today's video. What, Kiko? 
I'm going to start corralling all of the cats into a guest room because, like I've said a million times, I do not trust people to not let my cats out of the house, and I have house cleaners coming. And they're, like, new house cleaners, too, so I don't really trust them, and I have to leave the house. So I'm going to go just lock all the cats in a room and just tell the house cleaners to not open the door or, like, clean that room or anything, even though I want that room to be cleaned. But there's no way in hell I'm leaving my cats, like, wandering around the house today. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, I just corralled them all into this room with some toys, some beds. You want those treats? I'm gonna give them some treats so they don't hate me. He is the good thing. Treats are raining. Happy cats, happy life. Y'all, I'm going to Equinox right now. <laughs> I've been making fun of Equinox ever since I moved here and now I'm going to Equinox for the first time. I'm just so like weirdly frugal in like random aspects of my life, one of them being like, I don't understand why people get a gym membership in general when you literally live in an apartment building that has a gym. Why are you paying a gym membership when there's a gym in your apartment building? I never understood that and I always lived in an apartment. So I always just used the apartment gym and now that I live in a house, I have my little home gym in there. But Equinox is different. Equinox is like the really expensive bougie gym. The base membership is $300 a month and my dad got it. I bet it's a really nice gym. I'm just like $300 a month for a base membership is crazy. Like I wonder what they have to offer. But it has really been helping my dad with like motivation in the gym because he's like excited to go to Equinox every day. So he has a guest pass and I'm going with him today for the very first time. I've never been to Equinox. I packed a bag. I packed a shower bag. I have all of my shower stuff in here. I have all my makeup in here. I have my change of clothes in here because I'm using the fuck out of those amenities while I'm there. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna get ready when I'm done with my workout. I know there's an earth bar in Equinox. I've been inside of an Equinox before, the one that I used to live across the street from because I wanted to go to the earth bar and get a smoothie. So I've seen like a little bit of it from the inside, but I've never like worked out there. So I'm really excited. My friend Mike got an Equinox membership like years ago. I was like, you're a fucking idiot. Why'd you get that? stupid membership we literally have a gym at our apartment why are you spending but now i'm like mm, i get it i haven't even been there yet and i'm like i get it okay i'm excited i'm gonna start driving now my dad just sent me my guest pass over email i think i have to like fill something out my dad's telling me all the lore on the equinoxes we're at the chill one i figured that would be the best move i had to get a snack first because I am starving. I just drove here and was like shaking. So I got these little crispy chocolate truffle bites and I go to Celsius. Mmm. I've been to this. This is the Equinox I've been to before hungover. But I just walked in to go to the Earth Bar. Hey dad. You look stunning. How has your Equinox journey been? Pretty awesome. I love it here, it's uh, really chill. A lot of older people, you know, it's not like a little you know, little kid hangout. Little twerps. Very clean, mm -hmm. they have towel service, which is huge. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to bring towels if you want to use the, the you know, the, the showers. Yeah. <clears throat> and they have little towels all over the workout area, so you can, you know, sweat towels. Uh-huh, that's good. Hey, for 300 bucks a month, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna vlog on my big camera while I'm in there because I don't wanna be a weirdo, but I'll try to like vlog on my phone a little bit. Be a little, be low key about it. Bags out there. Yeah. I remember this treadmill. I don't like this treadmill. It doesn't have the, so I love a treadmill that has like the, where you can just tap like six, seven, eight. Oh, you can. When you have to press the button and it goes up in points. Ooh, this is one of those treadmills. It takes forever. Okay, Dad. Did it for your Very excited. You run like a gazelle. I run like a gazelle? Yeah. Yeah. I've never taken a shower in a gym before. Oh, no, I have. I've showered at the Planet Fitness a long time ago. It wasn't like this. I was roughing it in the shower at the Planet of Fitness, but this, I'm excited. Already? 
Oh, no. God, it takes 40 years to get ready. Oh. Okay, I just showered and got ready at Equinox. That was so much fun. I liked that Equinox because it was really small and, like, there wasn't a lot of people there. I've heard that the other ones are, like, really crazy, but good experience. I'm heading to the tanning salon. I haven't went in a little bit, so I'm gonna swing by because I'm like right there. I'm like right in my old neighborhood. I'm staring at my old apartment building. So I'm going to my old neighborhood tanning salon. Colin texted me like four hours ago and he was like, hey, can you run an errand for me today, please? I was like, yeah, of course. And he still hasn't responded. I'm like, dude, in his defense, he doesn't have service at work. It's like bizarre to me. He works up in the mountains and he works like 13 hour shifts and he just has no service. I find that quite unsafe. Like I guess the bosses have Wi-Fi. So if like something happens, they can call emergency services or whatnot, but like none of the employees have Wi-Fi. I'm like, what if there's like a family emergency? I don't know, it's just weird to me. If the one of the Wi-Fi trucks like passes him, he can like text me really quick. But other than that, like sometimes he like he just won't have service for like 13 hours straight. I'm like, are you dead? It turned out to be a beautiful day. It's that time of year where it's like gloomy in the morning and then it clears up. So now I'm sweating. I should probably take this off. I'm gonna go grab breakfast and coffee. We're gonna get my first pumpkin drink of the season. The last time I went to go get a seasonal beverage was last Christmas and I made the mistake of going to Starbucks. I was dragged to the pits of hell for that and so this is a little bit of a tender topic, but I'm going to get a pumpkin drink from Lala Land and then at my favorite place in the world. Okay, I'm waiting for my food. I stopped for my Sephora to pick up a few things. This is my favorite highlighter. Mine is beat to shit. I smashed it like right after I got it, but I've just been like using the broken pieces for well over a year now. So I finally just rebought it. It's the Makeup by Mario Golden highlighter. And then in my last vlog, I had a makeup artist, Sophia Tolan. She did my makeup and I loved the foundation she used on me. My skin looks so good. Normally when I do like a full beat, I just use like a tinted moisturizer, like the, I think it's the Summer Fridays, like, tinted moisturizer but this looks better it's the makeup forever hd skin hydro glow and she used like two different shades so i got both of them and then i got one of these cute hand sanitizer things i've always wanted to get one of these so i finally got one i wish i could get the logan cucumber salad in there he's so cute i love like most of the recipes he does but the one in there is like the salmon one i can't eat salmon but i love logan he's so iconic oh i'm so excited Okay, I think they have a pumpkin chai, they have pumpkin matcha, and they have like a pumpkin latte. I got the latte without foam. Mmm. First pumpkin drink of the year. Ah! I made a pumpkin drink at home, so it's technically not my first, but my first one out. The avocado toast this place is the best I've ever had. Mm. I'm going to the scariest Brandy Melville ever. I don't know what it is about this brandy, but it sucks. I didn't really realize it until I went to a different Brandy Melville in Malibu. I was like, wow, this is chill. There's nothing chill or fun about this Brandy Melville at the Grove, but I do it anyways, like weekly. You guys know, every time I film a YouTube video, I'm at the fucking Grove. <laughs> Yo, I actually found something at Brandy that I wanted to get. I usually just go in there like every week and I don't buy anything. But look at this little, I think it's a little quarter zip. It's so overwhelming in that store. Did you feel it in there, Dad? I felt it. Oh, you felt it. This is so cute. This is so close. I also got a little pair of shorts, even though I have so many pairs of shorts that look exactly like this, but I always need more. I got a couple more things. I got a couple more things. Let me show you. First, I got my favorite leggings, the aloe airlift leggings, and I got them in espresso. I love this color on me, this like dark, rich brown. My only problem is I don't remember what size I am in these leggings. I didn't feel like trying them on, so I got an extra small. But I was saying this in a TikTok recently, I have body dysmorphia, but the other way around, like I, I think I'm smaller than I actually am. Cause every single time I order like form fitting, like, uh, like workout clothes, I always get a size too small every time, every single time. So I, I feel like I'm a small in these, but I got, <laughs> we'll see. And then I just restocked on their Renew and Glow body polish. I love this scrub for the shower and I'm almost out, so I got more. And then I just popped into Williams Sonoma and I got this beautiful salad bowl. I've been wanting to get like a big bowl for salad. 
So I got this one that matches like all of my kitchen utensils because everything I have is from Williams Sonoma. So I did go in there and I looked at the price tag on this and I immediately tried to leave the store. But then I was like, wait, let me check and see if I have any rewards. And I had $100 in rewards. So I ended up getting the bowl. This bowl is $200. I was like, I'm not spending that. But I had 100 in rewards. So it was like, you know. I have some stuff to get done at home. So, and my house cleaner just finished, so I'm gonna head home now. And then I'll probably run Colin's errand later. Cause I wanna go home and get a couple things done. Phoebe's diary. Coming soon. I can't remember if I've ever told you guys like what the concept of my brand that I'm coming out with actually is. So my brand is called Phoebe's diary. It's coming soon, but it's essentially gonna be like all of my favorite things. So that's why it's called like Phoebe's Diary. Phoebe is my cat's name, but it's like a diary of all of my favorite stuff. So the first launch obviously has to be lip products because that's like my favorite thing in the fucking world. I'm doing lip balms, lip masks, and lip oils for the first drop. And then there's gonna be like home stuff. There might be some clothing pieces. Like whatever I feel like making is gonna be on this website. It's just gonna be a bunch of shit that I like. That's unique. I've never seen like another brand do that before so i'm really excited to just like make whatever i want okay i'm gonna head home i'm like sweating but i can't take off this sweater it's so cozy and i keep getting compliments when i was walking around the grove everyone was like oh my god you look so cozy i'm like i am i am cozy <laughs> red dirt makes good riding roads I just got home, everything looks so good. My new house cleaners do such a good job. I love cleaning, I clean every day. Like the only reason that I have a house cleaner, I have a house cleaner come like every two or three weeks, not that often because I clean a lot, but I have them come mainly for this reason. I hate cleaning my couch. It's such a bitch to clean, like taking off all of the covers and trying to wrestle them back on after I wash them is such a bitch and they do such a good job. My couch always looks so good when they leave. Oh my God. The place looks incredible. I just let all the cats out of the room. They're so happy. Why do you sit like that? <laughs> Colson, <laughs> Colson be sitting like that on like stairs. It's so funny. You're a weird cat, you know that? Guys, I need to show you something. Look at my room. It looks so good. My bed, like, thank God. Since Colin's been sick, he's been sweating like a pig when he sleeps. And it was like, it got to the point like yesterday morning where I was like, I like need to wash these sheets. Like he'll wake up and he is just in a puddle of sweat. The sheets are soaked. But I was like, my house cleaners are coming tomorrow. I need to push through one more night. I can't wash the sheets and then have them wash them again tomorrow. So I stuck it out for another night. And the bed looks so good. Okay, I filmed a house tour the other day for YouTube and I finished editing it. Now I just have to make a thumbnail. I have to make the trailer and I have to upload it. So I'm gonna do that all right now because I wanna get that video live today. By the time this video is out, that one will have been posted right before this. So if you wanna check that out, I love the video, it came out really good. So I'll see you when I'm done with that. I just opened some PR boxes on TikTok because I got home and there was like the coolest PR boxes in the world waiting for me. So I love cool PR packages. I'll show you quickly. Paris Hilton DM'd me on TikTok last week and she asked for my address. And she's gonna be a package for her new CD. I'm crying. I got the new painted, mm, the new painted blushes. I'll put out this statement as well on YouTube. I just did this on TikTok, but my formal statement, I love James Charles. And I always have, and I always will. And I'm so excited for these. I don't wear blush because I've never, like I don't care enough to buy a million blushes to try to figure out what shade I am or what shade looks best on me. So now I have eight shades to play around with and find my perfect shade. So I'm really excited. And then I got this like really awesome <laughs> PR box for this new show. Like look at this massive contraption. There's like so many different aspects to this box. There's all sorts of things to like make a mocktail. There's all sorts of snacks from the Hungry Gnome. There's like cookies, muffins, M&Ms for the new show. 7A on Paramount Plus and I just like love 
PR box is like this. And all these sweet treats are screaming at me, but I just know they're all made with milk. I want one so bad. Like, I want this cookie. Yeah, there's eggs in it. I'm like, mm -hmm. everyone I know is vegan. I don't know who to give this to. Colin got back to me with his errand. He wants me to run. He wants me to go to the auto zone and ask for Chemical Guys Quick Detailer Spray. No clue what that is. I'm gonna have to like ask someone right when I walk in. I know this is gonna be so embarrassing. Oh my god. Have I ever been in an auto zone? Once. I've been in an auto zone one time. We're going to that car show I was telling you guys about tomorrow. That's why his friends are flying in tonight. We're going to a clean culture tomorrow. My Jeep is a show car. Not to brag, my Jeep's pretty badass. But that's probably why he wants the detailer spray. I'm going to listen to the new episode of the Cancelled Podcast on the way there because it is rush hour traffic time. So this is going to be probably a two hour round trip. Walking into the store is just humiliating. Like, what the fuck am I going to... My boyfriend sent me. I'm just going to straight up admit defeat. I'm not trying to find this shit. I don't even know what I'm looking for. The Chronicles of an Auto Zone. The guy was like, well, what kind of detailing spray? I was like, I, I don't know. My boyfriend sent me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I... <laughs> They don't even carry it. Now what? That was kind of a far drive. I shouldn't give up now. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Colin, I guess, didn't specify the type of detailing spray, and I don't know. I got ice cream, but that, I love that ice cream place, but they only have like one bench, so I can never sit there. So I'm eating it in my car. I got peanut butter, caramel fudge, something. That place is funny. They have like mac and cheese flavored ice cream. They have like corned beef sandwich ice cream. Like they have some freaky flavors in there. I'm home now. I just fed the cats dinner and I'm just getting like the guest room set up because obviously I have two people coming to stay with us tonight. So I'm supplying their bedrooms. Someone's staying in this room. So I went to go hang up a towel in the bathroom and the towel rack came crashing down. So I just put the towel rack in the drawer. I put the towel in the drawer. Some extra toilet paper. And this room's all set. Hi, Taz. You can't come in. Guys, excuse me. Excuse me. And then someone's staying in this room too. This towel rack is alive and well. The thing about this bathroom is this light just doesn't work and no one will come and fix it. <laughs> so, but whoever stays in this room gets my tray of ducks, so. Really lucky guy. We have three thermostats for the house, one for the whole upstairs, one for like the whole downstairs or like a majority of it, and then one separate one for this room and the room next door. So this room gets really hot because I never turn the AC on because we're never in this room. The only time I ever use this room is this is the room that I rot in when I'm hungover because we have no curtains <laughs> yet in any of the rooms and all of the bedrooms are so fucking bright except for this one. This one stays like a little bit dimmer because it just does. So I rot in here sometimes, but I just turn the AC on. It hasn't turned on yet. I'm gonna clean this bedroom because the house cleaners couldn't clean it today because this is the room all the cats were locked in. This is the cat room. I didn't want the cats like out there while they were cleaning. It makes me too nervous. So I was like, don't even bother cleaning that room. I'll do it. This room has so much potential. Too bad it's the litter box room. My vacuum's dead, and I have no idea where the charger is. Change of plans. Not cleaning this room. I'm using a fucking broom. <laughs> My house cleaner, not the one that was here today. I had like a different set of house cleaners come um, like a week ago, and they moved my charger for my vacuum, and they misplaced it, and they don't know where it is, and they're claiming they never touched it, even though they did. So like my that like I just like can't use my vacuum now. I have to order a new <laughs> I have to order a new charger. But it's driving me crazy. Thank God I have this broom. I didn't even know I had this. I use my vacuum for everything. It's the best part of the day. I'm getting the living room set up for my hours long rot sesh. Once it's dark outside, I'm horizontal. That's just how it works. Can I tell you guys something? Can I confide in you? This candle I fear was worth it. I posted this on TikTok when I bought it and I got fucking roasted for it because it was $600.
but it's massive. It's like the Lilabo Santel candle, so it's already an expensive candle. But this big, someone's calling me. Did they stop calling me? Did they lose interest? Colin, you, you fucked me to begin with though, because I walked in and I was like, hey, my boyfriend sent me, I'm not even gonna try looking for this. This is what it's called. He was like, well, there's multiple different kinds of that. So like, which one? And I was like, I don't know. As I was saying, I was getting ripped a new one for buying this candle. It's already expensive because it's the Lolado candle, but it's a massive one. And I heard it lasts a long time. So I was like, let me just try it out. This fucking candle scents up my whole house. And I live in a 4,000 square foot house. I could light it in my living room and go up to my bathroom and smell it upstairs. Y'all, when I was driving home from ice cream, there was a car completely flipped upside down on my street and every, everyone was okay. The guy that was driving the car was like standing outside of it and he looked just like Rob from Love Island and he was even wearing overalls. I was like, wait, is that Rob from Love Island? Did he just flip his car on my street? It wasn't Rob from Love Island. We're gonna go with this blanket tonight. I recently switched sides of the couch, so normally normally that's my side. That's been my side since we've moved in, and then that's Colin's side. But like we switched yesterday, and I kind of liked it. I just don't like it during the day because the window is over here, so like this side of the couch is really bright. But I think this is my new side. I just opened up my drawer in my nightstand upstairs to grab a little gummy, and I found mac and cheese in a mug. It's because I was eating mac and cheese in bed last night while I was reading and, that, and then I didn't finish it, but I can't like leave it out because Taz will eat it. So I had to put it in the drawer and then I forgot about it. This is what I'm reading right now, All His Pretty Girls by Charlie Cox. I read one of her books. I just finished it the other day and I didn't like it. And it was my first book by her that I read. So, and I had already bought this one, so I was like, fuck, I'll just get through the other one too. But this one's actually really good. Like, I really like this book. The other one was like, eh? Hi, Colson. That's your butthole that you're flashing to the camera right now. Do you care? Keiko, say hi to my friends. Hi. <laughs> Come here, Bean. Ah. Oh! <laughs> You make the world's most unattractive sounds come out of my mouth. Every time you do some shit like that, some weird shit comes out of my mouth. Oh! How was your day, Colin? What'd you do? Uneventful. I worked. Content. Anything exhilarating happened at your job? <laughs> Does anything ever. Yeah, sometimes you see animals, but you never tell me about it until like weeks later. I saw a bunch of deer. Just like, Today? Just like every day. He sees deer every day, y'all. Oh, and then he comes home and he sees the little cat. What was your peak and pit today? My peak is the excitement to uh, see my friends today. Mm -hmm. And my pit was, I still got a little dizzy this morning, which kind of sucked, but um, it eventually wore off. I'll zip you. No, zip me up. <gasps> oh, God. Now you look like a college professor. <laughs> Oh, that just made me really scared because, wait, look how long you rent. Accept it. I'm not telling my story Accept with it. this zipped up on my neck. Accept it. When I was a little kid, I was like really young. It was like one of the first times I was riding a bike. I forget who it was, but they were putting my bike helmet on for me and they clipped my neck while they were like clipping it on the bottom. And ever since then, especially when I was younger, like, oh my God, when people like clip something for me or like zip up something for me. <gasps> And you just did it, and you didn't, even, you didn't even think that I could have some trauma connected to that. Can I please unzip this? It's not my responsibility to think about your trauma. Period. Period. Oh. God, you just started a seminar for, for TikTok. Why do you sound squirmy? Because you make me, you, you turn like a really comfortable thing into like the most uncomfortable thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Ah. Well, my hair is still drying. I couldn't just like lay back on you. Ah. My pit. I had a really good day. I don't really have a pit. I think my only pit was like, I was all amped up to like clean the, the cat room because the cleaners didn't because I didn't let them in there. You were amped up to clean? 
I, yeah, I love like vacuuming up shit and like washing the floor. <laughs> so I was excited. So I bring the vacuum in there, I set up my tripod, and I'm like, I'm gonna make a cleaning montage. I flip the thing on the vacuum, it's dead. And the cord has j- just went missing. And my peak was spending a lot of time with my dad today. Good. And being at Equinox with him. And then he texted me after we both left. He was like, I'm going to the Grove BCW. I was like, wait, me too. Let's meet up. And we met up. And it was great. Mm-hmm. And I had fun seeing him Good. and talking with him. He's leaving on his cruise tomorrow. He's going to be gone for 14 days. Cool cruise. People were commenting on his breathing in the house tour video. Oh, really? He was filming it. Sure. <laughs> I, you showed me the one part. Well, that was like a grunt. But like yeah. the whole video, he's like... <laughs> Say thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel. What she said. No, say it. That's what I always say. Thank you. No, I say I, I actually no, I don't say that. I say I say thanks for hanging out with me today. Like and subscribe if you want. Thanks for hanging out with her today, not me. Um, you better like and subscribe. It's not an option anymore. I'm begging. Quite literally. Love you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm just stick. Sorry. Oh, making me dizzy. Hold on. Right. Bye. Oh. Colin gets to hang out with me all the time. Mm. All mm. night. Oh, can you go heat up that mac and cheese for me? You're laying on me. When I'm not laying on you anymore? I'm sure. Okay. Love you. Best day ever. Thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring today's video. Remember, the link is down in the description. You can click the link in the description and use my code TARLIN for this much off your first order. I don't remember.